to have more insights into the markets and investing and kind of what it means for you. We're joined by Philip Chung, author of Taming the Market Sharks, Eight Super Easy Stock Investment Maximums. He joins us live from Hong Kong. Uh, hello, Philip. How are you? And I want to ask you, um, the markets don't feel like it's so easy. We've got these, these glitches. What are people there saying in Hong Kong? I know a lot of them trade technology stocks as well. Is this a big deal to them? Well, yes. Um, the market is changing all the time. But as I mentioned in my Taming the Money Sharks books, it's really not so critical because if you concentrate in the certain industry that you pick, it doesn't matter whether the, the market goes up or go down. Either way, you can still benefit by concentration of the things that you really know. That's why picking an industry, picking the right stocks in your portfolio is very important. You, I'm sure you talk and to a lot of investors. Yes, go ahead. I, I, I do as well. I, I just want to ask, do you think it's harder or is it easier to make money in today's environment? Even though we have all this extra information, why does it feel like that a lot of investors have a harder time to make money? That's a great point. See, uh, in my book, Taming the Money Sharks, I discuss about there's a lot of information in the market, uh, but a lot of misinformation too. See, sharks are anybody who make the stock prices different by influencing it at the expense of other investors. And so for their own personal gains, that's why it's so important to really know the industry, know the stocks that you are buying. And the, the key here is to be able to choose the areas that the sharks don't swim in. They are powerful, they are cunning, and we can never kill them. But we can coexist with them <laughs> by knowing the area we can swim. They, they swim the areas and we swim our areas. We make money, they make money. So that's the way to go. And in my book, I talked about how to choose the right industry. You can start with the industry, for example, that in your own profession. It reminds me of John. John is an IT head of a department uh, with a lot of knowledge on hardware and software. Yet, he loses money every year in the stock market because he jumps from industry to industry until he listened to me and he was making money concentrating just IT stocks and then he's a happy IT guy. All right. The Another way to choose an industry. <laughs> first of all, first of all, by the way, by the yeah. way, first of all, I love the fact that you talk about sharks and stuff like that. It makes me laugh and I'm sure our viewers think it's funny as well. But in all seriousness, one of the biggest issues that people complain about, so do you invest in the market? No. Why don't you invest in the market? Because that wealthy people have access to bankers. Those bankers have access to information. They have an advantage over me as the individual investor. First of all, do you believe that is true? And what can a small investor really do to gain any advantage? Or is there such a thing? Oh, that's a great point. See, the small investors can access to many good information on the industry, but you have to know the rules, know the terminology, know how the business operate, know the top companies, how they set prices, et cetera, et cetera. And the small investors, one day concentrate in one industry, they have as much way to make money just like the big sharks or other big companies or big investors. But they must know the, the, the rules. Just like playing sport. If you're good in baseball, you cannot just go to a tennis court and start playing tennis and be as good. Same thing. If you're in, good in football, you cannot just play <laughs> other sports to expect the same thing. Every sport has their own rules. Same thing with buying stocks. Every industry have the key rules and how to make money. And if you know them, then you're as good as the sharks. They may give you misinformation, which you can identify right away if you're already good in it. There's 68 All right, Philip. industries around the <laughs> I world. Got, I have to end you there because uh, I'm going to get in trouble if I don't stop this interview now uh, because our friends in the control room are going to be thinking about sharks all weekend long. Philip Chung, author of Taming the Money Sharks, eight super easy stock investment maximums. Thank you for your advice and joining us live from Hong Kong. Have a great day over there.